They have raised the bar, so to speak. Two Oildale Taverns have paved the way for dozens and dozens of veterans to go on the next honor flight. 23 ABC's Mark Christian joins us now live from one of those bars and explains how one vet made the trip today because of their efforts. Mark? Well, Jackie, well, Henning's Bar here over on Oildale Drive, actually an airport drive, along with another bar in Oildale and one Glenville Bar with some business owners, all got together to support Honor Flight. And we're told that the money they raise, which is thousands and thousands of dollars, will completely pay for the next set of veterans headed to Washington, D.C. They took donations, sold t shirts, and held a poker run in October to raise more than $40,000. Kern County is probably the most generous county I've ever met in my life, and I've lived all my life. And we just got together one day and we decided, well, we're doing these poker runs. Let's not do something for the honor flight and see what we can come up with. Well, Henning's Bar is just a stone's throw away from Meadows Field, where a group of veterans left this morning. Among them was Keith Dufel, who's one of the main reasons why the group decided to get together and raise the money to begin with. His health's not real good, so we decided we'd see if we can't get him on his honor flight. And I talked to the head lady that was putting it together. And, told her the situation and she pulled the paperwork and he flew off this morning. Dufel, who served in Vietnam, said he would be honored to go on the flight, but... First words out of his mouth, spoken like a true veteran, was if there is any uh, World War II or Korean vets that haven't had the opportunity to go, he did not want to take their place. Between O'Hennings, the doghouse, Saddle Sore, and Shady Lane, they raised enough funds to cover the entire trip for the next set of veterans that will go to Washington, D.C., giving all involved a sense of patriotism. I think it's probably one of the greatest things I've ever done to myself. For Dufel, his wife says he still carries around the pain of how he was treated by most of the American public when he came home from Nam. I think it had totally wiped out that memory, but once he gets there and he sees his memorial and he's with all the other vets, I think he's going to come back with a totally new appreciation, and I think all of that pain is going to go away. His trip was completely paid for by all the bar's efforts, and they're glad to send him off. And they say there will be reminders everywhere of who sent him to Washington, D.C. in the first place. I'm glad to see him get on that plane, and I'm sure he's in Washington, D.C. right now drinking his first beer. Now, one more thing I want to tell you. Many of these bar owners say Oildale usually gets a bad rap, and they say that's not always the case. And, Todd, they cite this as a perfect example. Back to you. All right, Mark, thanks. As we honor our veterans today, we are especially thankful, of course, for the